Hi, we are the Tech Geek, and today we are going to show you how to solve the issue of audio services not responding. In this video, we are going to show you four ways to solve this problem. Before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel, and comment down below what problem should we solve next. The first method is restarting your services. The first step is to open up your search bar and then type in services and launch the service manager. Locate the service Windows Audio and make sure the status is running and automatic. If it's not, double click and choose the startup type to be automatic. Click OK to confirm. Next, locate the services Windows Audio Endpoint Builder and repeat the process. After you finish checking it, right click the Windows Audio Endpoint Builder and click Restart and click yes to confirm the restart. After the services has been restarted, check if the following services are running and are automatic. The first one is called DCOM Server Process Launcher. After that, check the second one, which is called RPC Endpoint Mapper. The final and last one is called Remote Procedure Call, RPC. After checking those, you should be okay. If that didn't work, Try method 2, which is verifying privacy settings. Once again, open up your search bar and type privacy settings. Then scroll down on the left bar and locate microphone. Then make sure you have allowed apps to access your microphone. If that is on, you should be okay. If that still didn't work for you, try method 3, which is reinstalling the audio device driver. As usual, open up your search bar and type in device manager. Then locate the audio driver under sound and video. After you have located it, right click it and uninstall device. Click uninstall once more to confirm the action. After you have uninstalled the device, you need to restart your computer. After your restart, find the device manager again by using the search bar. and your audio driver should have automatically reinstalled. If by some miracle it isn't reinstalled, click action on the top bar and scan for hardware changes. If that still didn't work, use the last method, which is using the command line. Again, open up the search bar and type CMD, and right click the command prompt to run it as an administrator. Then type in the following, net local group administrators slash add network service. 
after you have typed it in, press enter. And then you have to type in the second code, which is net local group administrators slash add local service. After that, your problems should be fixed.